In this video, I'm going to show how I make my compost soil mixture. And I fill a wheelbarrow up partially with compost. And at the end of the video, I'll show where I buy the compost, the containers, and all the other products I use in the soil mixture. I take this scoop thing of perlite. It's horticultural perlite, and it promotes aeration and drainage. I'd say this is roughly about 10% of the mixture, maybe a little less, 5 to 10%. And then I add in some of this stuff called vermiculite, another 5 or 10%, one scoop. And it creates a nice loose, airy soil which is good for the roots to travel. And then I top dress the container with this stuff called azomite. It's basically like a multivitamin for your plants. It's got a bunch of trace minerals. And I use a half a cup. This is a 30 ounce cup. And then I add in some earthworm castings and I use a full cup, this 30 ounce cup. Then I mix it into the top three inches of soil. So that's how I make my garden soil. And if you're doing just a few containers, it's probably best just to buy a few bags of potting soil from Walmart or Home Depot. And you can get vermiculite and perlite at Home Depot, but when you start having to fill in big raised beds, it could cost you like $1,000 in bagged soil to fill these up. So it's a lot cheaper to go and get these other ingredients and make it yourself. I'm about to go pick up some compost from the yard waste center and the things I bring is a little step stool, some gloves, a shovel, and these are the things I'm going to fill up. They're like 55 gallon drums and I've got to put some tie downs to keep the barrels in place. And I almost forgot, I bring two five gallon buckets. One of them is just a backup in case like the handle breaks or something. And since the barrels are empty, I put like a weight inside of them. So the wind won't like blow this lightweight barrel like out of the back of the truck. Here's the pile of compost, and remember to take the little weight out because that'll get buried forever inside there. So these two barrels full of compost cost $6.47. And here they are. This will last about two or three years for a garden my size of just like topping the beds off as the beds like naturally settle. These containers I get from Sam's Club. You get two of them for about $13. They're called bus boxes in the restaurant section. and It's thick, heavy, food grade plastic. And I drill holes in the bottom with a decent sized drill bit. and the holes allow excess water to drain out of the tub. I get some of the specialty stuff from Fifth Season Gardening. If you search for hydroponics or organic gardening specialty store in your town or city, you'll find a store like this. I joined their newsletter so I get a 10% off coupon. And the four cubic feet bags of vermiculite and perlite cost $18 each. I get these from Fifth Season Gardening. 
The Azimite bag cost $30, and the earthworm castings cost $21 a bag. And the fertilizers I use is Alaska Fish Emulsion Fertilizer and Alaska Fish Emulsion More Bloom, and you can get this at Home Depot also. 